Peugeot have made it quite clear that they want to restart the racing heritage with these production cars and there was an influence from the 908 which won Le Mans quite recently with the double bubble roof example. Now the underpinnings of this uh, RCZ are based on the 308 although the suspension is wider. Now you might be quite critical of that but that does make the price cheaper. These RCZs start from just over £20,000. I'm comfortable with the driving position, although my feet are not. And uh, I've actually got a slight ache in my right foot because the pedal is far away from the carpet. And so my, the angle of my foot is an acute one. The delivery driver who brought the car from Coventry to Manchester got just over 50 miles per gallon. At low speeds, the diesel RCZ feels as if it's lumbering. And also, the rear suspension hasn't got many links at all, so that does accentuate the potholes. How is it for you, Pete? Well, since we're on the same road as we were last time, and I was commenting that we were actually in a Kia Rio there, and it was quite bumpy, this is, say, more bumpy already than that car. So, and it's, it's quite, it's, this is a 22,000 pound car, and it's slightly, um, it's very cramped in the back here, but obviously it's a coupe, but my head is actually striking the the uh, nice. rear windscreen. I do think if there was an accident I would be not in a very good state, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, it's not what I expect a coupe should perform like, you know. It's not giving me, it's not, it's not clear, it's not clear enough for me. So it's not giving me, it's not inspiring me with confidence. Right. Feedback's poor. To improve this car, in my view, Peugeot need to insert a lighter diesel engine. You also need to put some more links on the back axle. Less icing and more ingredients. First panels that would be scrapes on the country lane would be those rear wings that fill up the uh, bottom right, corner yeah. of the the mirrors. I can't mm. see anything of the bonnet edge. Can't see anything of the front wings. Okay. And that e pillar is extremely thick. Yeah. That's down to end cap, you know. But see that mid mid bent bump. Yeah, it's just all over the place there. BMW, you wouldn't get that on the BMW, no way. Yeah. It's easily knocked out of line almost. Yeah, that's the worst thing actually, I think. Uh, I think the steering is the, is the biggest letdown. at this speed. It's got the pull hasn't it, but you don't get the torque in one burst no. you know, spread isn't it? No, no, no. We're hitting these uh, lines and you can really feel the vibration through the car now. I can feel it <laughs> through my ass. That ashtray just behind the gear stick is actually awkward to open. You can't really get your fingers behind it if you want to try it. No. Yeah, you can't, you can't. That is it hits as well, your knuckles as you, as you get to open it. It's just a bit. Yeah, it takes time. For a 20,000 half. You know, with all leather around, and then you got a... Glove boxes aren't what they used to be. They're all that smaller. It's because of the airbags. <laughs> okay. It's 
not as if it's a hard suspension, it's as if it's a cool. It's bouncy. Yeah, but the road's around Stockport. A lot to be desired, I think. 